from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. Now here we have, um, there you can see a bit better the color. It's almost a turquoise in appearance material. Now how we'd, we'd, we'd actually see how this color is caused. When you look at cross sections like this, you'll see a powdery white kaisa color. And then uh, uh, next to that would be a rim of a, uh, a, a blue to turquoise kaisa color. Um, and of course dusted, in this case on the matrix, these sections look contacted, it's actually microcrystalline malachite and often on the malachite I find sea green waxy botroids uh, which, which I'd classify as pseudo malachite. Please note that my IDs are purely visual. Um, Let's have a closer look there. Now from a display point of view, quite a versatile piece. Now this is pretty interesting. There's a hell of a lot happening here. And of course that's a little microcrystalline malachite there. But I quite enjoy this particular angle where you've got this, this section exposed. And there you can see on the cross section the chrysocola, the, the powdery white and then intersected with a turquoise to blue chrysocola. And micro quartz crystals, you can actually see some of their faces smiling back at us. So from a display point of view, we'd stand flat like this, going around like that, across like that. Or you could have it standing up this way, going around like that. Actually a lot more colorful this way around. Or you could have it standing up like that and have that wing out the side there. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga and the black material would be some heterogeneous there too.